लेट एस टेक द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स फ्रॉम द टू कंडीशन गिवेन बिलो कैलक्युलेट म्यू यर इफ यू लुक एट दीज टू कंडीशन यर वी हैव वन ट्वेंटी न्यूटन फोर्स विच इज पुलिंग द ब्लॉक एंड दिस फोर्स इज इंक्लाइंड एट थर्टी डिग्री टू हॉरिजोंटल इफ आई लुक ऑन द सेकेंड डायग्राम Here, one twenty newton is a push type of force which is pushing this block, and even that is inclined at thirty degree angle. So, by using both the conditions here, I have to calculate the value of coefficient of friction. Let us see how this problem gets solved. What I would be doing here, I would be using this condition first, that is the first diagram, and let us see what we get from this. Similarly, I would be using the second diagram, the second condition, and see what we get. Finally, we would be equating both the conditions. Let us start with this problem. I'll directly write the solution for this. Question number six. Solution. I'll say that considering the first condition. In the first condition, we have a block. a pull type of force is applied having value 120 newton inclined at 30 degree to horizontal now here we even have the weight of the block which is w acting downward 120 newton is inclined at 30 degree to the horizontal so we will have its two components one horizontal and the other is vertical horizontal component will be 120 cos 30 because inclination is with horizontal that is why i have cos here vertical component will be 120 sin 30 degree next because of 120 cos 30 this block will try to move towards right but friction force will try to bring it towards left similarly if we have w the load acting downward we would even be having normal reaction which will be upward so along vertical we have 120 sin 30 and rn and next w so these are the conditions which we have now again we would be considering this block to be in limiting equilibrium considering the given block in limiting equilibrium therefore i will be using the first condition of equilibrium that is summation of fx is equal to 0 sum of all rightward forces would be positive all leftward forces negative i'll say that therefore here i have 120 cos 30 positive minus f which is mu into rn that would be treated as negative and that's equal to 0 now after this i can say that 120 cos 30 i am getting the value that comes out to be 103.92 minus mu value i don't have here and even rn so i'll write it as minus mu into rn this minus mu into rn when i shift onto the other side i will be getting it as equal to therefore i'll say that since i want to calculate mu here the question is we have to calculate the coefficient of friction so mu i would be saying that it is equal to 103.92 divided by rn will be shifting here this becomes my equation number 1 so this much i am getting from the sum of all horizontal forces after this i will say that also summation of fy is taken as zero where all upward forces to be considered positive and all downward forces to be taken as negative therefore if we look into the diagram i have rn as positive so rn 120 sin 30 positive plus 130 120 sin 30 next w is acting downward so negative 
that is equal to 0. So, what I would be doing here therefore, Rn plus 120 sin 30 the value which I am getting here it is 60 minus W is equal to 0. I will keep Rn on one side shift W and 60 on the other side. So, it would be changing the sign. Now, this Rn I will put in equation number 1 which we have got. So, Rn will be replaced by W term. So, I will say that put Rn in equation number 1. Therefore, mu is equal to equation 1 I have 103.92 in the numerator. In the denominator I have Rn and Rn is W minus 60. So, I will keep this whole equation as capital A. I will call this equation as capital A. Now, just by using the first condition which is the pull type of force, I am getting equation A. Next, I would be using the second condition. Now, I would be using this second condition. Let us say that if we consider the second condition, here it is given that instead of pull type of force, we have a push type of force. Here we have a push type of force. So, again this force is inclined at 30 degree to horizontal. So, here we will be having two components. Horizontal is 120 cos 30. Vertical is 120 sin 30. Next, W weight will be acting downwards. Opposite to that, normal reaction will be upwards. This is the friction surface. 120 cos 30 will try to push this block towards left, but friction force will try to opposite. It will be moving towards right. So now, these conditions we have, as in the first approach, in the first condition, we have solved by summation fx, summation fy same conditions we would be using here i will say that considering the block to be in limiting equilibrium i will be saying that summation of fx to be taken as zero where rightward forces are positive and leftward forces are to be taken as negative hence i will have F as positive minus 120 cos 30 will be negative. So, that is equal to 0. Therefore, F means mu into Rn that is equal to I will shift 120 cos 30 onto the other side. So, if I write this mu will be equal to 120 cos 30 the value which I have here it is 103 it comes out to be 103.92 which is actually 129 yes 129.90 divided by Rn so I will keep this as my second equation next after summation fx I will go for summation fy I will say that summation of fy to be taken as 0 where upward forces are positive and downward forces are negative. Therefore, if I see here Rn is upward so positive weight is downward so negative similarly 120 sin 30 is downward so negative that should be taken as equal to 0. Then I will be shifting W onto one side and even 120 sin 30 onto one side. Therefore, my Rn value will be equal to 
W plus 120 sin 30 that comes out to be 75 so now I have another Rn value I will say that put this Rn in equation number 2 equation number 2 here we were having mu as 129.90 so mu is equal to 129.90 it was divided by Rn and Rn value was W plus 75 I'll keep this as my equation number B. Now is the time to compare the equations. I have got equation A from pull type of force. We are getting one condition. Equation B is from the push type of force. So I would be saying that equating equations A and B we get equation A here it was 103.92 divided by W minus 60 in equation B here I have 129.90 divided by W plus 75 so now I would be calculating W from here so therefore 103.92 into W plus 75 is equal to 129.90 into W minus 60 therefore if I go on calculating this and keep W terms on one side numbers on the other side I would be getting this as 25.98 into W that's equal to 15.59 into 10 raised to 3 hence W will be equal to 15.59 into 10 raised to 3 divided by 25.98 and the final answer is 600 Newton so here I am getting W but in this question they had told us to calculate coefficient of friction so if I look at equation B here I am having mu in terms of W if I look at equation number A here also I have mu in form of W so if I put W value either in equation A or equation B I will be getting the answer of mu so I will say that put W is equal to 600 Newton in equation number A therefore mu will be equal to 103.92 upon w is 600 minus 60 that's from equation a and hence i will be getting my answer of mu as 0 0.192 and here we had calculated coefficient of friction from both the conditions and we complete this question